What's up YouTube, this is the Shy Pianist here, or Donald or Zephyr Wargames, bringing you my Madolce deck profile. Now, I haven't done another Madolce deck profile since last year, January. Um, that deck profile is, is a pure build, purely um, just Madolce cards in the main deck with no engines. Here we have, I'm going to bring you today uh, an updated OTK build and with several engines into it. So here we go, um, let's just zoom in. Okay. So first off, uh, playing best girl of the deck, Triple Magdalene, she's your searcher. Uh, searches any Madoche monster from your deck to hand. Um, she's just, you know, all our best, um, arguably, <laughs> of the Madolches. Next, we have, I run triple uh, Madolce Mithalene with triple Anjali because the Mithalene Anjali play is just too good for them and it's a standard play where you can just keep looping um, and allows you to just get uh, Madolce Spell Trap, uh, Levier and the Tiamasu and shuffle two cards of your opponent's um, side, two cards of your opponent's side back to the deck. So with this um, uh, triple Mifli and Anjali. So with the plays, I have, I do run the triple Hoot Cake as well as the triple Messengelato. Um, arguably, some players might drop Messengelato to two, but I've uh, found that in my build, um, I always constantly special summon uh, Messengelato out. And yes, you can argue he um, argue he does uh, break your hands, but he, he is there for when you do need to go off a lot and search out your spells and traps. Yeah. So that's like pretty much the Mifi Anjali lot. Next, I run Triple Pudding Cess. Now, a lot of people like, would assume um, she's dead in hand or she doesn't really help because a lot of people would run just one of her. Uh, with the Brilliant Engine, you would, uh, I would argue that if you do see her in your hand with Brilliant Engine, with the Brilliant Fusion, and one other Madolce, you can OTK. Um, I've had times where I've managed to go into Double Pudding Cess, uh, or Loop, essentially Loop Pudding Cess, where you keep Special Summoning her out and then make it into Chocolate Mode, and then keep Special Summoning out more. I did this once at regionals and the guy was really a, a profound as to my play with triple pudding sets. And to round up uh, for the Madal Chase, I run the one Crescent. Yes, he's also your other beat stick, for he is not only is he a beast type which helps out when you special summon up Messenger Gelato, he also can become a 23 beat stick when you have Chateau as well and use his effect. He also helps with Chocolate Mode's effect, allowing you to recycle back any um, uh, Madolce cards in your graveyard back to hand, you simply just do this by bouncing Chateau and activating it again. So that's for, that's it for the Madolce monsters. Now for the engine, other engines we run in the deck. Um, Tabletop engine. Uh, I run this uh, on the upfront. A lot of people who play Madolce would assume you just use this to get into your Leviers or you get into your Invokers. Um, after finding out and testing, I've actually found an OTK play, which a lot of people, or if not YouTube, has not actually mentioned, in which you, if you have a two card OTK, in which you have uh, Teratop and Hoot Cake, or Teratop and Anjali, you can OTK. So that's that's that <laughs> uh, with the tabletop engine. I'll show the combo later. And another engine which a lot of people will know is the Brilliant engine, because a lot of people have mentioned of um, Brilliant Madolce by using Brilliant Fusion and Magdalene. That's why I like to shout out to the fact that you can have um, Brilliant, well, Speedroid Madolce where you use tabletop as, um, as well. So. Back to the Brent Fusion, uh, my light target is uh, Ghost Ogre. I originally ran uh, Effect Veiler, but in this day and age I found that Effect Veiler can't do much during your turn, but during your turn Ghost Ogre can, so I've used Ghost Ogre. For my Gem Knight target, 
funnily enough, I actually used Gemini Lapis because uh, she's a level 3 and um, my extra deck doesn't really run a lot of the generic rank 4s so Ghana is kind of um, dead when I have it on the field with the other Badalches but with Lapis I can at least make into my Leviers and um, Invokers so that's the uh, Brilliant Fusion Engine now onto spells, I run the 2 Chateau and 2 Ticket um, this is because with 2 Chateau you can keep looping, you can keep recycling and you can keep bouncing uh, double ticket because a lot of times um, I find myself um, it gets destroyed because people see it as a threat, they want to get rid of it, it stops me adding but if you have another ticket it at least allows you to keep recycling it back in or with a uh, um, chocolate mode and have one in the case of emergency which you will just have it in hand by uh, adding it. And now uh, this well we have one last uh, one by Geki board wipe. Uh, I want I still play the one instant fusion. This is purely because uh, you can uh, the OTK of Mufli and Angeli and uh, instant fusion is still good. Um, and it also provides an extra boost in when you want to make chocolate mo plays as well. Uh, double summon and chain summoning. I still run this um, because chain summoning with uh, brilliant fusion will in fact give you four normal summons. Four because chain summoning gives you three from its effect, but and brilliant fusion gives an additional summon. So that literally makes four summons if you can pull this off. Double summons also there to help out plays uh, and just all out good to have. And to round up the deck I have two twin, twist two twin twisters for back row destruction. You're an OTK deck this is uh, so back row is your main threat essentially um, for most plays. Now we move on to extra deck obviously Queen, the Queen herself, free, uh, Queen Tiama Su, and I do run the free chocolate uh, pudding test chocolate mode. Uh, reason being for chocolate mode, um, pudding test the pudding test loop where you can just um, keep making one bounce special summon and then special summon again, a uh, detached special summon, and then detach and special summon more, and then you just end up with chocolate mode and the Tiama Su. Um, purely from just doing shenanigans really, it's quite funny um, to say the least. Um, so yeah, Queen Tiamasu at 3 definitely, she's no doubt probably one of the better monsters um, of the extra deck. Non-target shuffle is still good in this day and age. Um, Tiamas, the chocolate mode is for the extra attack boost, essentially. Um, right, for Gem Brin Fusion. I run two Seraphonite just in case that if you do resolve one and you have still able to play another one, it's it's just good to have regardless. And for the instant fusion target, I play Pear Cycloid. It can be any Earth level five you choose. Like I think there was the other one was Cybersaurus, um, but I go Pear Cycloid for the hilarity. Um, and yeah, it's a bicycle. To, uh, let's see, I run. Triple Levia. Um, this is for the fact of uh, I run the Mewtwo Angeli combo at three, and the amount of times where if you do get bored quite three times, um, it really happens. But it is an insurance to have. And now that we have True Kings, um, they banish your extra deck. So running multiple couple copies for me is a bonus. And that being said, I. Do run double MX Chamber Invoker. There are plays where it does come in handy to have to because I can use like uh, Messenger Lalo repeatedly, or I get two level threes, um, two sets of uh, level threes, and I need to keep going to Invoker to then go to Tiamat Suit, which will then bounce. So having two is great for some plays uh, that I found, and having two also helps you out if if you um, face against true kings and they attempt to banish so invoker at 2 is always great and last of round up things is one Gaga cowboy this is simply because to finish OGKs that you 
um, may or may not have been able to uh, do. Um, and also, the, the, it's just games, really. So, that's the deck profile. And, and now, I will do the terror top and who cake or Angelic play. So, I've found, found on, I had a look on YouTube. No one I've found has covered this at all. And I will do it, demonstrate here, right now. So you set, start off with your Terra Top and Hoot Cake, and you special summon your Terra Top, adding your Titan Tom Bob. And you simply normal summon your Hoot Cake and go straight into your Emic Saber Invoker. Now, what helps out with this play is that Invoker will just give you a Mess and Gelato, and um, he will then start off plays and allow you to set up your Grave to go into Tiamasu and stuff. Um, so if you started with Anjali, it also works with Anjali, but it's not as effective. Uh, Anjali will tribute herself after going to Hoot Cake. If you have Hoot Cake, just normal summon it. Then Messing Gelato will search out either Ticket or Chateau, depending on who you have who you have um, started with. So if you go with Hoot Cake, uh, you got with Hoot Cake, search Chateau. Or if you go with Anjali, you search Ticket. This is so that you don't shuffle the Angel in Grave and it will allow you to use Tiamasu uh, later on. So with Hoot Cake, I add Chateau, activate it, and then with Hoot Cake effect, you banish your Titan Tom Bog uh, out and special summon Angel. Angel will now tribute herself off into a second Messenger Lato, which will add your ticket. You play your ticket and then you can overlay into a Tiamasu. Tiamasu will then bounce if they have cards, if they don't, go straight into a Choco mode and then bounce uh, Anjali. Um, but soon they usually would do. I bounce them, I bounce Anjali and um, Listen Jalada back into the deck. Um, and then, effect of ticket, you then, I would special summon Listen Jalada back out and allowing you to then get another Chateau. So you still have these in hand. Um, oops, haven't actually zoomed out quite far enough. Um, so yeah, uh, you have Messenger Lotto, give you another Chateau, rank on top, and that's 3,000, 2,100, uh, 2, and uh, 1,600, leading a total of 8,700. Now with Angeli, um, you go ticket first, so you don't shuffle your Angeli back in, and what you do then is you um, banish uh, your Titan Tombog to get your Messenger, it gets your Chateau. Then you go into Tiamasu first, allowing you to shuffle back, or you can uh, shuffle back in. And then this will trigger Ticket, and this will special summon as your Chateau, and you simply get the same board. But if you open up with Angeli, you don't get the Angeli and, and Chateau or Ticket in your hand, but um, that's kind of the price you pay. Unfortunately, if you do want to shuffle back in, um, so that's it, I believe, with the deck profile. Um, so that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and to subscribe. And as always, as always, guys, happy dawning. If you like that video, why not check out our other videos available? We've got more deck profiles, pack openings, and of course, duels. And don't forget to click on the most important button of all, that subscribe button, right in the bottom left hand corner.